Hey guys, how you guys doing? Listen, I know it's been a minute since I posted a video. Um, I took some time to just kind of regroup. Um, I know if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, um, you see that I have been posting pictures from when I visited the um, U.S. Virgin Islands. And um, I stayed initially in St. Thomas, um, took a boat, a ferry over to St. Croix. Then I went from St. Croix back to St. Thomas. I took a prop job, propeller plane to um, St. Thomas. I actually wanted to do a seaplane, but we waited too late to do that. Um, that's just an interesting experience that everyone should have at least once. It's definitely on my bucket list. So, um, but anyway, I spent about, I don't know, almost two weeks there. And then um, I have now been um, back to work for two weeks. So um, just a little update. Um, I did, this is our spring break. And um, I have had several um, doctor's appointments. I've been trying to schedule all of my doctor's appointments this week since um, I have already been, you know, out of town and everything. And I really enjoyed my pre-spring break. So this week, this week is full of doctor's appointments. I had... Um, I had to go see the oncologist just for them to draw blood and um, just kind of make sure that I'm okay. Um, that went well. Um, don't have the results yet, but it went well. Um, also, I had to go to the ophthalmologist and I was in search for a new ophthalmologist. And um, I tried this one called um, My Eye Lab, which is really interesting because it's really like a teledoc kind of thing. It's, you go to an actual place, but the the um, doctor, the op, the um, I guess they call an ophthalmologist, um, are they are um, via teledoc. So it was kind of interesting. He was still able to manipulate the machines. You know when they say which one is better, one, two, one, two. They do that kind of thing. Somehow or another, he was able to manipulate it. But you know, I kind of liked it though. It was all right, you know. Um, so then I have my mammogram for tomorrow. So yeah, I, I've I've had my doctor's appointments all this week. Actually, Mike had one on Tuesday, so I went with him to his doctor's appointment. So literally every day this week we've been seeing somebody in the medical field, right? Um, so anyway, um, like I said, I went to my oncologist, and um, what was surprising to me is that um i've been feeling great like I, I really have i've been feeling fine i have not been in any pain i'm still not lifting um 20 pounds you know anything over 20 pounds i was actually feeling fine my only um issue is <laughs> is that sorry for the camera i don't have a stand up i'm actually holding it my only issue is when i eat um i have to go to the bathroom almost 30 to 40 minutes later so, um, fortunately I haven't had to, um, be in any classrooms any more than just to observe, um, which is my job to observe and then to, um, assist teachers. Um, but I haven't had to cover any classes, um, thus far. And I'm kind of nervous about if I have to do that after I have like lunch or something, because it's, it's pretty like, I'm talking 30 to 45 minutes later, y'all, I got to go. So crazy, I know, but anyway, um, so she did write me a letter for that, just explaining, you know, in the morning times, I'm okay. It's really in the afternoons after I have lunch, that's the problem. And, you know, when I have dinner, I have a light um, breakfast just to take my medicine. And I mean, I go immediately. So I usually do that sometimes before school. And sorry if I'm being too graphic, TMI. Y'all know what this is. This is, um, you're recovering with me. I'm still in recovery. But the thing I was saying at the doctor's appointment, at, when I saw my oncologist, Dr. Shams, the thing that shocked me is when she pressed on my stomach, I saw stars. And it kind of shocked me because I'm so in the mindset that I am okay that I wasn't anticipating the pain, y'all. I wasn't anticipating it at all. It hurt, you know. And she was like, it's a little tender, huh? And I'm thinking, no, lady, that junk hurt. <laughs> like, it hurt, hurt. So... <laughs> Anyway, it, it was it was surprising. I, I wasn't expecting that at all because, you know, I'm thinking that, hey, it's been, you know, December 12th is when I had my surgery. 
but it was still very, very tender. And, um, you know, so she said to me, she said, you know, you're doing well. She said, you look great. I could definitely see that you've lost the weight. You know, you've lost weight and everything. So that made me feel good that she even remembered because the last time I seen her, it was January 7th, I think, or January 6th. And um, I'm like, do they take pictures of us where she can recall that? Anyway, she did notice that I had lost weight. You know what? It's probably on. She probably looked at my records and saw that I lost weight because, you know, they weigh you when you go in, right? So she probably noticed the drastic difference from when I first arrived. And then, because remember, I saw her January 7th. January 10th is when I went back with the infection, right? So she hadn't seen me since then. So I'm sure she probably looked at my records and noticed the weight loss from that. Yeah, that answers that question. Not that I'm not looking fabulous. I'm feeling my best self. I even went, when I went to the um to the, um, op, the eye doctor, um, I got contacts. So they should be coming within the next week or so because I just want to not wear glasses. Y'all, I told you, I turned 43 and all of a sudden my eyesight just goes to hell which is crazy because I never wore glasses in my life, right? Started getting headaches. The doctor was like, yeah, you need to wear glasses. Oh, really? How often? When? When you wake up. I'm like, okay. So anyway, guys, um, that was just an update from um, just the guys to kind of let you know what I've been up to, what's been going on with me and everything. Um, so like I said, back to work. Back to doing what I've been doing. I will be um, more regular, at least twice a week. And I, I can't even remember what days I said I was going to post my videos because it's been that long. But um, I do have some footage that I'm going to share with you guys from when I went to St. Croix. So I'm going to be posting that. i um, going to be still posting my cooking. Remember, I'm still plant-based. Still doing my plant-based meals. I do have occasionally chicken and fish. Um, occasionally... Um, but it's mostly plant-based. So I'm going to continue with that and, um, let you guys know how I'm doing. Right. I mean, as a matter of fact, today I made, not today, yesterday, last night, I made some leek potato soup, the bomb.com y'all. It was so freaking good. Right. So, um, and I didn't videotape myself doing it. I, I got to get back in the swing of doing those type of things. Okay. But until next time, please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. If you want notifications when I'm doing another video, like I said, I'm going to get back on track. Um, Mike and I have been walking like three days a week, and that's been really good. I'm just really anxious to start doing weight training, you know, because I'm a weakling, y'all. I can't open up a bottle. It's like crazy. Anyway, like, subscribe, share with your friends. It's so good to see you guys again. It's so good to be back. Thank you for hanging out with me, Law. I know it's been this, this a long talkative video with nothing special going on. Y'all like my braids? What you think? I need to get them touched up, which I will sometime or another. But anyway, dry, ashy lips as usual. Love you guys. Ciao for now. Until next time, be blessed.